Today, I'm gonna show you how to do your activity or assignment on your mobile phone using Google Docs and Google Slides in Google Classroom. First step, open your Google Classroom app. Make sure na account nyo ang naka-sign in. Sa baba, may kita nyo yung stream, classwork, and people. Ito sa classwork, may kita nyo yung mga assignments or activity. Kapag gray na ang icon, ibig sabihin ay tapos na or natapos nyo na ang gawain. Kapag blue, ito yung mga dapat nyo tapusin. If you want full details about this you may watch our another video about Google Classroom. Let's try to answer this activity. You will see here the deadline, the instruction of your teacher, and the points of the activity. Sa baba naman, your work. Pwede din kayong mag-send ng private comment sa teacher nyo. And assigned. Ibig sabihin, yung activity na ito ay hindi pa nagagawa. Let's click the symbol para makita natin. Ito yung activity. Click natin yan. Mapapansin nyo, nasa Google Docs na tayo. We have three symbols here in the upper right corner. If we're going to click this one, ganito ang mangyayari. So, naglalabas lang ng pen tools or pwede kayo maglagay ng text box which is mahirap so hindi natin gagamitin ito labas muna tayo ulit Ang kailangan natin, pindutin ay yung pangalawang symbol. So, madadirect tayo sa Google Drive. If you don't have Google Drive on your phone, you have to download it from the App Store. After that, click this symbol. Nag-pop up si Google Docs. Since wala pa tayo sa phone, need, need din natin itong i-download. Let's choose the first one. Ito yung activity natin. Then, pwede na tayo mag-edit. When you're done, just click this X mark. Don't worry, auto-save na yan. Hindi mo na kailangan pang i-save yung gawa mo dahil si Google na mismo ang mag-save para sa'yo. Then click the back symbol.
Next, submit na natin. Click this icon. Pwede din tayo mag-leave ng private comment. Click nyo lang to para masend. And then, submit. Kung may nakalimutan kayo, click nyo lang unsubmit. Then, click the file and edit. Let's check kung na-update na. Resubmit na natin. Kung mapapansin nyo, yung handed in or turned in, ibig sabihin na ipasa na kay teacher. Don't ask your teacher if he received already your work because you can check it yourself. For the teachers, Para ma-access ng student yung file, kailangan natin i-edit yung share option sa Google Drive natin. Ito yung Google Classroom ng mga students natin. Papalitan nyo lang na editor para ma-edit nila yung file. Check nyo yung classwork. Color gray na yung activity. Ibig sabihin, tapos na tayo. Another example, may new assignment tayo. This time, nasa Google Slides naman yung activity. So, same steps lang. This time, since Google Slide ito, i-click nyo yung slide mismo. At may lalabas na Add comment or edit slide. Choose edit slide. All you have to do is to label the parts of the respiratory system. Click lang natin ito. Double click nyo yung loob ng box para ma-edit natin. Pwede nyo naman i-zoom. Ganun din sa number 2, double click nyo lang yung loob ng box hanggang sa lumabas yung keyboard ng phone.
click the X mark, auto save na yan. So, ganun ulit. If you want to send the private comment, you may do so. Then, turned in or hand in na. For the teachers, uh, same process lang ang gagawin natin para ma-edit ng bata yung file. Papalitan lang natin yung share options. Then, we are done.